G'day YouTube, Warbles on a lot here, and uh, it's time to move the panel. I have painted the underside, it's had two coats, the second coat went on an hour and a quarter ago, we're coming down through quarter to three in the afternoon, the air's starting to get cold, and I think I'd like to have this thing inside. As you can see, I've put a bit of a cat's cradle of tie wire on it so that I can grab a hold of the tie wire and carry it. As you can also see, this operation is being supervised by the Grey Kangaroo Clan. Kerry on the right and Cindy on the left. Cindy being the second grey kangaroo to eat bread. And I've got to say, we now have more YouTubers in the world building sunfoils. There are nine of you, as far as I know, um, than there are grey kangaroos eating my bread at breakfast time, because there are seven of them. And I'm really pleased to say that there are more people working on a sunfoil than there are wild kangaroos who know it's safe to eat my bread. Okay, if this works, I'm going to be really happy. If this doesn't work, you're going to get to hear me swear. See? Well, he's not quite as bloody silly as he looks, eh? And you may also notice I've tied the hammock up. Let's just try this one. I think this is the impact. Yahoo fucking yippee. Like I said, I'm not quite as silly as I look. Now, you can come over and check out <coughs> how the system operates. We have a temporary tie wire suspension. And we have a fairly heavy duty bit of fencing wire. And we have the catch cradle. And the wire prevents the panel from touching anything. And I'm going to close the door and we're going to have the sun coming in through this window for the next two hours, which will warm the insulated children's bunk room up, just like it did when the kids used to sleep out here. And uh, when the sun goes down, that's about when I turn on the blast furnace. If I get a little bit of, over there you can see ventilated louvers. The ventilated louvers, they're actually connected to a heat exchanger that's wrapped around the pot belly in the other room. So while I'm next door, and I'm sitting there getting on with my usual evening routine of stoking the fire every 20 minutes, the Mark V prototype sunfoil will be safely away from anything that can possibly touch it while its paint is soft and the volatiles have yet to evaporate. It's in there getting solar heated and dried at the moment. Here's the hot air line going into the kids bunk room and down underneath the bed is the cold air return line also insulated and you know how pleased I was with myself for getting this to run as a thermo siphon to cool itself as well as getting this to run as a thermo siphon to cool itself well here we have a thermo siphon driven air pump so that cold air from underneath the kids beds in the bunk room goes in there this has actually got uh, micro groove corrugations 
on the inside of the heat exchanger to get more surface area. And half the radiant heat that comes out of the pot belly, about five horsepower or so, um, finishes up driving <laughs> this uh, hot air pump, which runs hot air into the kids' bunk room. So I'll be burning firewood to run the paint dryer tonight. And then maybe, maybe I'll be able to put this in tomorrow and paint the top. And then perhaps it might actually be ready to be installed either on the weekend or uh, maybe Monday. I don't know. We'll see how the weather goes. Warbles on a lot to YouTube and the Sunfoil community. Ciao. Yay team.